hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to save web page as pdf here in adobe express let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe express i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go saving an Adobe Express web page as a PDF is a simple process that can be very useful for a lot of reasons depending on your needs. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to click the project or design that you're working. If you haven't already and you wanted to start from scratch by choosing the templates from here in Adobe Express, just click this button and later you can save them as a web page here and in PDF form. But if you want to start from scratch and upload your own content, just click this button. Now, once you navigated to the design or project that you are working and you want to save as PDF, all you have to do is access the print function. Where is it? If you are using a Windows or PC, I want you to press Ctrl plus the P button. If you're using the Mac, press Command plus P. All right, so what will happen is if I do that, I would be forwarded to the print dialog box. All right, so. Well, now what will happen is all they're gonna do is go to the destination which is gonna be save as pdf all right because you're planning to save this web page here in adobe express as a pdf form all right now you also have an option to make microsoft print to pdf or if you click on the see more these are some of your options apart from saving it directly as pdf send to one note 2010 this is obviously dependent on the machine or a computer you're using of if they installed many apps that is a, can accommodate a lot of options for uh, the web page saving all right if you click on manage you would be forwarded here all right well, let's go again to the uh, option here now on the pages you can choose the web page that you wanted to save as pdf you can put in the custom like for example one to five eight to nine six to nine Lemma to a 13. Now for the layout, is it gonna be a portrait? Landscape? You have all of these options. In the more setting, because you're saving it as a PDF, would you like to save it as a legal, letter, tabloid, and all these options? You can also choose that for the pages per sheet. For example, if you're working with multiple sheets and you wanted to save this web page as a PDF, you can choose also that. In terms of the uh, margins, you can choose from the minimum, default, or custom. So you have all these all right with the scale you can choose from default or custom and from there all you're gonna do is click on save and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one